Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah i am also fine this is abdul ali an assistant teacher of english of national ideal english version school today i am going to conduct an uh, a computer class for the student of class 4 today's topic is chapter 1 page uh, 7 to uh, 11 uh, 10 discussion lecture 1 sw1 now come to the text first of all uh, this uh, introduction to computer okay computer is an electronic machine there is students you have to told that uh, this is computer uh, you have to underline this computer is an electronic machine it runs on electricity you also underline this computer is a machine who is is connected to each other to perform the task okay that means computer who is is connected who is is connected to each other uh, mm, it takes input from you and shows the re- shows the result after processing the data that you input this is the function of computer now uh, we will discuss about the history of computer uh, first if you talk about the history of computer we have to talk about the abacus the abacus uh, seems the to be the earliest calculating it is the earliest all earliest calculating calculating machines who is which was developed by that by the chinese abacus consist of beads which can move on wires wires represented the column the right most columns represents the unit and next for 10 and so on abacus could perform simple addition and perf- or subtraction okay first of all this abacus could perform simple addition and subs- uh, subtractions okay then uh if we talk about the history we will know about the pascal's mechanical calculation another thing is that another machine another um, is that uh, pascal's machines consisted of gears it was consisted of gears wheels and dials here calculation could be performed by dialing the series of wheels carrying the number to one around there sar conference this machines are uh, as uh, later improved by the god fried who was uh, from germany to perform multiplication and division that means this pascal's mechanical cal- calculations that means is used for multiplication and divisions universal automatic computer univac the short form of uni- uh, this univac in the year 1946 Eckhart and Mousley found their own company and began to work on the universal automatic computer or univac. In 1949, Remington Rand acquired the Eckhart Mousley Computer Corporation in March 31, 1951. First univac on became the commercial computer used at united its states census bureau that means this univac became the commercial first commercial computer now go to the napier's bones another uh, thing is that uh, napier's bones uh, was invented by john napier that means it was the pioneer john napier in the year 1617 that the device consists of rows made of bones ivory or metal with numbers written on machines it was mainly used for multiplication and divisions like pascal's mechanical calculation this napier's bones also used for multiply multiplication and divisions now generation of computer mm. tram the generation indicates the types of technology that means this generation of computer indicates or denotes the types of technology used in the computer manufacturers okay as you uh, that means now if you analyze you will get pos- possibly fifth or uh, sixth generations of computer and as new technology emerges improves the speed accuracy and storage capacity of the computers okay this is related to generation different technologies have been used for computers at different times okay now we'll talk about the classification of computer okay you have to um, do your homework from this clear boys from this you have to do your homework classification of computer and parts of computer classification of computer based on the performance computer can be classified as 
follows like that means based on the performance we can classify the computer three types into digital analog and hybrid and on the basis of the size and capacity another types um, is that on the basis of size and capacity computers can be divided into four types supercomputer main frames computer mini computer and micro computer now parts parts of computer okay this is very important because computers parts can be divided into three parts they are input device output devices and processing unit the, my dear students this is all for today you are requested to uh, do your homework from the classification of computer and parts of computer thank you assalamu alaikum